velvet blue Without a sign, without a question yet The real question to be asked, where have I been? I'm a chef chauffeur, at this masquerade Hiding this face of mine, a free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur, what a shit to be Please don't take off my mask, revealing God Nothing to be found A mirror right in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflection does the truth It's telling what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef chef At first masquerade Hiding no face in mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chef Chained up to my core But don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me Burning down the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef chauffeur At Booth's masquerade Hiding both face and mine A free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Have no face to show Just don't take off my mask My disguise Get present while I'm on and on 
without a clue, without a sign, without a question yet. The real question to be asked, where have I been? I'm a chef chauffeur, at this masquerade, hiding both face and mind, afraid for you to draw. I'm a chef chauffeur, what a shred to be, but don't take off my mask, revealing God. Nothing is to be found A mirror right in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflecting that's the truth It's telling what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef chef Apple's masquerade Hiding no face in mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chef Chained up to my core But don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me Burning down the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef chauffeur At post masquerade Hiding both face and mind I pray for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Have no face to show Please don't take off my mask My disguise Without a clue, without a sign, without a question yet, the real question to be asked, where have I been? I'm a chef chauffeur, at this masquerade, hiding both face and mind, afraid for you to draw. I'm a chef chauffeur, what a shred to be, but don't take off my mask, revealing dark. Nothing is to be found A mirror right in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflection does the truth It's everything what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef chauffeur Apple's masquerade Hiding no face in mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Chained up to my core But don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me Burning down the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef chauffeur At post masquerade Hiding both face and mind I'm free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Have no face to show Please don't take off my mask My disguise What's up, everyone? OG over here from Player Welcome back to another PE Live. We got the first one of this week. 
It is a glorious um, Monday, April 22nd. Sometimes I have to look at my calendar, guys, because, you know, sometimes I don't know the dates. You work from home sometimes. The, the, the days and the months and the years just fly by, man. They just fly by. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. We've got a lot of information to go over, guys. A lot of information. So I'm not going to spend too much time on Ninja News and all that. Um, mods, keep note of when the actual Persona Live times are going down. Because I know there's going to be people saying, when's the Persona Live? When's the Persona? When's the announcement? When's the announcement? Like throughout the whole stream. So mods, if you guys, uh, once I announce it and I talk about it, if somebody asks in the chat, just tag them and say, hey, this is the time. Because I'm going to tell you guys all about that. So um, keep that in mind, mods, uh, for the, the stream. For the rest of the stream today because uh, we do have a long lengthy stream two hours of uh streaming goodness and then we're gonna have a night stream as well so uh, so it should be a lot of fun um all right so let's go ahead and get into the ninja news for the day um, ninja news is basically when i go over what's been going on on the channel we do have a lot of content going up pretty much every single day hours upon hours of content every day on player essence um so uh just so you guys know what's kind of going on i think there's something in my mind okay I'm, I'm good um all right <laughs> i was like i thought i had something in my mouth and i'm like no there's nothing there um all right so let's see here so going over the the, uh, the videos for today we did have a good video seems like you guys you guys i'm telling you man y'all like those these these weirdo clickbait single picture videos man because they, they get like way more views than like my other videos so uh so we had a video on like nintendo did the near impossible with the switch which has come back from basically a disaster of the wii u uh, usually when you see a system sell that low, it doesn't really come back. So we had that video uh, this morning. So you guys are enjoying that over 3,000 views. So thank you. That's much better than what we usually get with just regular PE news. You know, uh, usually we'll be around like 1,500. Unless it's Persona or something like something juicy. Y'all ain't watching it. Y'all ain't watching the news as much. So uh, so thank you guys for watching the videos lately. We're going to continue on with that. Seems like more people are subscribing as well. Uh, so we're going to continue on with those type of videos. And then we're gonna, you guys are going to get live news during like right now, like PE live and all that stuff like that. Unless there's like really good news. Then I'll make sure to make it into a, like a Switch News video for you guys. Um, so yeah, there was that. Uh, yesterday we had our live stream for Pound 8. I don't think, like I said, um, I might make it to where uh, Patreons and uh, members can watch the, the restream of that. But like, I'm not really sure yet. So for those who caught the Pound 8, Top 8, you know, uh, you know, uh, live reaction with me, uh, cool. I'm probably going to be doing that more. Um, so look out for that, guys. Uh, we also had uh, yesterday... Uh, we had the Nintendo's most dominant summer of all time video on the channel. So make sure you guys check out that. We go over some of the summer games from June, July, and August. Freaking crazy nuts. You guys are liking that video too. That has like uh, like 4,500 or 4,600 views. So not bad at all. Not bad at all for a Sunday video on Easter. Most people probably didn't even check it out because they were busy with their family on Easter. So not bad. Um, also the arena battles that we had up. Uh, the five hours of, of Joker gameplay and me getting to an Elite Smash is also up on the channel. Um, all the PE lives that we've done is up on the channel. However, I forgot to put the PE podcast from last week. I forgot to put that up. Um, if you're a YouTube member or if you're a Patreon, you've had access to it for, you know, for a few days now, I think. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, for everybody else, sorry about that. I forgot to put it up, but it'll go up today or something like that. Um, I don't want to, like, blow your sub feeds up more than I already do. That's the only issue, you know. Um, and I think that's it. Um, I think that's it for Ninja News uh tomorrow morning we are going to have an, another video um basically talking about uh how nintendo's going to compete next gen i think i put together a pretty solid video so hopefully you guys like that uh, that'll be tomorrow morning at 6 a.m and then tomorrow we have dragon's dogma and maybe mortal kombat 11 switch gameplay i'm probably going to do a lot of dragon's dogma though i can't i mean i bought mortal kombat 11 i bought mortal kombat 11 and dragon's dogma and i had a 25 dollars gift card so it only came out to, and i have my best buy gamers club so it only came out to freaking 52 dollars like that's that's a steal, man. But anyway, I uh, came out to $52 for both of those games. Uh, so I'm going to be picking those up tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of wanting to just... I'm, and I'm going to... I'm probably going to give away a Mortal... I'm going to give away a copy of Mortal Kombat 11. So I'll buy another one at some point and give that away. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't even know if I'm even going to open Mortal Kombat. I'll be honest, guys. I'm not really super ex excited or hyped. I mean, it's missing a ton of characters, man. Like, <laughs> it's it's like missing a ton of characters. Like, it, it, I mean, it's got like a lot of the staples. But I mean, there's like... There's a lot like, like no like no reptile like no Molina you know I mean it's just ugh, it's just it's not good uh but anyway I think I don't think it was smoke is smoke I don't know if smoke's in there or not I mean it's just it's just it is what it is but yeah um all right so uh, we are going to uh, get on with the shout out so if you want me to say hi to you in the chat feel free to say hi I'll be more than happy to say hi back so I already see I saw Fairy Tiger's emblem here so what up Fairy Tiger co captain of the Viking Nation good to see you here Psycho Pie is here as well uh too lazy for this what's up man um uh if i were you i wouldn't i wouldn't really 
I wouldn't really uh, base your your uh, your purchase of Mortal Kombat 11 on on reviews or not. You should look at the game. Does the game look fun to you? Oh yeah, it looks fun. Okay, buy the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, does this game look like I want to play this game a lot? If the answer is yes, then buy the game. I mean, I I really wouldn't base it on like you know reviews. You know, because people say all sorts of stuff. So just keep that in mind, dude. Keep that in mind, man. Like, you got to start building that gamer sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you're young, so you haven't developed it yet. But I mean, like, I can literally look at a game and say, I'm going to buy, like, I'm going to like that. I'm not going to like that. I'm going to like that. I'm not going to like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and it's just something you build up over time. So just keep that in mind, man. Reviews aren't the be all end all. Um, all right. But the reviews are out, by the way. Like, there's, there's actually a bunch of reviews. Out. And you can watch complete. I mean, in, in my opinion, like, just watch the game. Like, watch the game. Hear somebody talk about some of the content. Look at the characters. Is the roster okay for you? Does the online play work? Check. Yes. Check. Yes. Okay. Cop. I mean, plain and simple. It's a fighting game. It's Mortal Kombat. I mean, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, all right. So Galaxy B, what's good? J2, Elite Ninja J2 Blue, what's good? Roof, Elite Ninja Rufus is here. What's up, man? Um, VC, Elite Ninja VC is here. Bowsette, what's up? Jumpmon, what's up? Galaxy B. Uh, El Kamachi, what's up, man? Good to see you here, dude. Shout out to the Gang user El Kamachi. Good to see you here. Um, no, nah, I haven't watched the um, high, high score girl anime. No, nah, man. I'm still watching, like, Boruto and, like, my hero i don't really have like a ton of time to watch anime i'll be honest dude um let's see here uh lord ozzy what's good man keep up the good work thank you what's up leading to jazzy ends here good to see you here pretentious carrot what's good man um let's see here i'll answer all the persona stuff in just a bit guys and i'm not gonna prematurely just sit there and like cut myself off before we start up so just have, have a little bit of patience my boy uh super uh koju jin what's good man gunslingers here nathan drake what's good bevan mario what's up man um is it D uh, diego diego bellman what's up man neck uh neko yim uh neko yim yo bro bro fury tiger with the toby take one of these from the viking nation bluster let's go fury tiger starting off the week strong with the 20 yo fury tiger what's good man he says yeah i'm <laughs> yeah i'm here lol play something <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You guys give some love to Fairy Tiger. Once again, manning the helm over there in the Viking Nation, the great land of Sweden. He's, Viking, he's, he's manning the helm over there. So thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. Big supporter of the channel. Really helps out. So thank you, man. Appreciate that. And yeah, we'll play something. Um, let's see here. Should we play some more? Oh, how about... Um, how about this one? Take one of these. Guys, let me know how it sounds. Is it too loud? Not loud enough? Let me know. Uh, where's the uh, Toby Blast emo? <laughs> yeah, take me. Shout outs, man. Let me get your name up here on the leaderboard, Fury Tiger. You guys, let me know how it sounds. Let me know how it sounds. Is it too loud? Not loud enough? Let me know. Uh, all right, so let's get Fury Tiger. Fury Tiger. All right, the It's good? All right. Thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. Appreciate that, my boy. Really do. That does make you the uh, weekly ninja, too. That makes you the top weekly ninja for now. And also, once again, stream ninja, stream boss as well. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. Let, uh, let me finish up with these shout outs, man. Uh, Vesper, what's good? Vesper. Um, I got I to gotta get you a plane ticket and fly you out to Connecticut for the Retro World Expo. Man, one of these days, dude. Uh, John W., what's good, man? Good to see you here. T Dude, Nyko. Galaxy B once again, K Rule 73. Good to see all you guys here. Uh, Thanaros, man. He said, What's a Toby Blaster? What's a Toby Blaster? <laughs> Keep coming to the streams and you'll figure it out, my boy. <laughs> Drift Pride says, What's good, Drift Pride? How you doing today, my man? That's probably not happening, bro. Like, we haven't even got Persona 3 or 4 on the PS4 yet. Or the Vita. Or no, we got it on the Vita, kind of, in a way. We got Persona 4 Gold on the Vita, but we haven't even gotten on the PS. We didn't get it on the PS3, and we didn't get it on the PS4. I don't know why you think it's going to come to the P or to the Switch. Like, Persona 3 and 4 did not come to the PS3 or the freaking PS4, but somehow it's going to magically appear on the Switch? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, you're, you're, you're reaching your stretch arm stronging too much, man. That ain't happening, in, in my opinion, at least. Um, all right, what's up, Rilo? How's it going? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, it, you're just hyping yourself up to be disappointed. I mean, that, that, I'm just letting you know that right now, dude. If I were you, I'd give up hope. 
and wait. Just wait. Um, a man can have dreams. Yeah, you can, those dreams can also not come true when, you, when you're dealing with an idiot company sometimes. Uh, not that everybody at Atlas is idiots or not that the company overall are idiots, but sometimes they make the weirdest decisions. So when you have to rely on somebody else, you know, sometimes it's not good to have dreams. Um, sometimes it's just good to, to eat what's on your plate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what I realized with being a gamer over the years. Sometimes it's just good to eat, eat what's on your plate and support the developers that want to that wanna help you out, you know, or that want to provide for you. I mean, like, Constantly begging and crying and uh, whatever, you know, that doesn't help. Oh, what's this? Yo, Fairy Tiger with another Toby Blaster! Let's go, Fairy Tiger! Says, this is a Toby Blaster. Smiley face. Yes, that is a Toby Blaster. Um, I might put up a guide for like, I might put up a Jutsu guide. Like, maybe like, I said I was gonna put up like a, a chat log here, but it's acting stupid in the streamlabs. So I might put up a, a Toby Blaster guide like right here or something, right in this area, or maybe in this area, maybe like up up here. I'm not really sure. Or like a Jutsu guide in general. Um, but either way, thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. Yo, extending that uh, weekly ninja lead. Also, once again, um, top stream ninja, of course, and you blasted yourself, by the way. <laughs> you got full HP again. So there you go, man. Uh, what's up, Arash? How's it going, my man? Um, let's see here. Markel, what's up, Markel? How's it going? Um, let's see here. <clears throat> let's see here. Racing Wolf, what's good, man? Yeah, Jutsu Guide would be nice. Yeah, maybe I'll put up a Jutsu Guide. Like, maybe I'll put up, like, a some type of Jutsu Guide. I already got enough crap on the screen, though. There's already all sorts of stuff, but hey, maybe I'll put one up. Um, what's up, Gudon? How's it going, man? Um, did I say, what's up to Wormwise? What's up, Wormwise? How's, how's it going? Um, yo, Elite Ninja Party Man, the bodyguard, Renin Gun user. What's good, Party Man? Um, Jump Mom, what's up, Jump Mom? We're going through shoutouts, Jump Mom. If I'm saying what's up to people, we're going through shoutouts. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dank Me, what's good? Dank Me, how's it going? Um, all right. So I think I pretty much got everybody, right? I think I pretty much got everybody. So, yo, Dave Gaming, what's good, man? Good to see you. All right, let's get into this Persona news so you guys can stop, like, constantly saying what's the listen guys persona 5 persona super live p sound street 2019 live stream announced <laughs> persona super live p sound street 2019 live stream announced should i say that fast persona super live p sound street 2019 live stream announced persona super live p sound street 2019 live stream announced um, all right, so tune in for musical performances and Persona news. Atlas will stream its Persona Super Live P Sound Street 2019. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to Number Q Theater concert on April 24th and 25th. The company has announced the live stream links. Which day one there'll be a live stream on April 24th at 19 JST. And let's figure out what 19 JST is. All right. So hold up. 19. Let me just get JST. So 19 JST, where I'm at, it is 3 a.m. on Tuesday. In the West Coast, that is 3 a.m. That means it's 6 a.m. on, um, oh, sorry, not Tuesday, thir or on Thursday. On Thursday, or sorry, let me double check. 24th, that is Thursday, yeah. No, Wednesday, Wednesday, my bad. So, and I'll get that Twitch following just a bit. Um, it, on the 24th, that is this Wednesday, that will be more information on Persona 5 The Royale. That is at 3 a.m. my time, so 6 a.m. Eastern time, and 5 a.m. Um, Central time, okay? So that's this Wednesday. Now, on the day two of the live stream, where we're supposed to get more information on Persona 5S, that will be on April 25th, which is Thursday at 19 JST. So once again, 3 a.m. Pacific time, 6 a.m. Eastern time, uh, 5 a.m. Central time um, there. So those are the times for that, guys. I'm not going to be streaming that because it's at 3 a.m. I'm not going to do it. It's at 3 a.m. That's too early. That's too early for me. Now, Nico Nico Premier members will be able to watch the whole concert from the start at 19 JST on April 24th and 25th, 
while general members will be able to start watching after 9 30 jst on april 24th and 25th so it doesn't even really matter because i wouldn't be able to watch it anyway unless somebody else is streaming it and then i watch their stream so they are streaming something else then i'm streaming something else from them so <laughs> so yeah that'd be interesting so in addition to nico nico the official persona um twitter account will also live stream the concert each day starting at 9 30 jst on april 24th and 25th now the atlas is expected to announce the latest information on persona 5 rpg persona 5 the royale on april 24th as well as a separate persona 5 game currently only known as persona 5s on april 25th so we'll get information on we'll get information on wednesday and thursday in the morning sometime so wednesday morning there'll be information on persona 5 the royale thursday morning there'll be information and what persona 5s actually is now a lot of people are anticipating a couple different things with persona 5 the royale ps4 exclusive it's going to be like persona 4 golden right the game again with a bunch of new content added in that's what people are assuming or expecting or speculating on uh right now with persona 5s People are speculating on, and there's been plenty of rumors that this is going to be the Nintendo Switch version of Persona 5, um, just the vanilla version of Persona 5, potentially with some extra content in there. There's also been speculation that this is going to be a Switch and PC version of Persona 5. So uh, that's kind of what's going down here. That is it, guys. Once again, the live streams for mods, so you guys can know when somebody pops in and says, when's the times? Like, um, the times are Wednesday. Wednesday, the 24th, this is Persona 5 The Royale at 3 a.m. Pacific Time, 6 a.m. Eastern for the streams. Now, the information on Persona 5 The Royale might not come right at 6 a.m. So don't wake up in the morning like, give me Persona News! Like, don't wake up there get, getting all hyped and ready to get, like, Persona, you know, 5 The Royale. You gotta probably wait a little bit. It might happen after the concert. It might happen at some other point during the day. Okay, it's not like they're going to be like somebody's going to be like on a violin and say, by the way, Persona 5, the Royale is coming out on this. And here's all the information. And they're going to like point at a freaking thing and they're playing. I, I don't that's not going to happen. Okay, so let's just don't wake up and say, but OJ told me, OJ told me 6 a.m. Okay, I'm just telling you when the concerts and the streams are going down. All right, so. Uh, so keep that in mind all right so keep that in mind hold on to random questions towards the end guys i'll answer your random questions towards the end unless you unless you're if you're a youtube member you're an elite ninja i might answer you i might answer your random question i might answer your random question whenever you want but if, if you're not then may, then hold on to your random questions towards the end <laughs> or drop a donation and ask a question <laughs> otherwise i'm going to be going all over the place um nigel sims says shout outs uh just uh want waiting to pick up mortal kombat 11 at 9 p.m tonight we getting we getting drunk lol shout outs nigel sims yeah, man, it's going to be pretty cool. Mortal Kombat 11 tonight, 9 p.m. for many people, um, or 12 a.m. Eastern time, that it is going to be available. Uh, there are some midnight launches some places. Um, I'll just be picking up my copy tomorrow. So there you go. Um, so, yeah. Um, so there you go. So that's basically it. So those are the times, guys. Those are the dates. Those are what's going down. What are you guys' thoughts on this? What are you guys' thoughts on what Persona 5 The Royale is going to ultimately end up being? And what are you guys' thoughts on Persona 5S and what that's going to end up being? Who's going to guess the name right? What do you guys think the name of, of, of Persona 5S is going to be? What do you guys think ultimately turns out to be? I, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. I know we've talked about this a million times, but now we're actually getting close. Because, you know, Atlas makes these announcements of announcements, you know. Announcements of announcements of announcements of announcements. So we're, we're continuously doing stuff like this on Player Essence. Here we go. So, uh, but thank you, Nigel Sims. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the $10 donation. I really do appreciate that. Although, I need to update the leaderboard, though. Fairy Tiger has, um, I think it's, uh, 30, it's 35 on there, so... So yeah. All right. So let's see here. So if anybody has any questions on this on Persona, I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, Warren Wise says my main concern with expecting per, uh, Persona Five on Switch announcement on Switch. Okay, on Switch announcement on Switch is that it seems it seems a direct may be more appropriate for the announcement. Hope I'm wrong, of course. Well. The thing about it is that Nintendo's announced all sorts of stuff that wasn't at directs. There's been 
Resident Evil games. There's been there's been Joker just dropped out of nowhere. You know, with all sorts of stuff, just no direct, just a video dropped out of nowhere. Dragon's Dogma just got announced. I mean, that's a pretty big game. That just got announced, like, on Twitter or something like that. So, I mean, Nintendo's been doing some some weird things lately. I don't think that it has to be a direct. And I think Nintendo's desperately trying to stop people from this, we need a direct, we need a direct, we need a direct, we need a direct to get information like hype. And I've seen that before. I mean, Direct Feed Games made a video on it. This whole hype cycle of having to have a direct to announce anything is that in my opinion stupid as hell so i actually don't mind them doing it in a different way so i don't think that there's anything wrong with saying hey yeah there could be a switch a game announcement not at a direct at the way that atlas wants to announce it you know what i'm saying like at a at their at their own event you know like so i'm I, i'm gonna have to disagree with that i don't think that there has to be a direct to get every single game announcement it's a port of a two-year-old game that, that that doesn't need there doesn't need to be a direct for that for a port of a two-year-old game no matter how great persona 5 is there there does not need to be a direct for a port of a two-year-old game i'm sorry like that that's i just don't think that's the case no matter how much people love persona it hasn't sold 15 million copies it's sold like 3 million co- barely three no 2.5 million copies okay people would be treating this game like it's god or something like that you know what i'm saying or it's like the freaking next zelda or something like that it's not it's persona okay so i mean that, i think that's the issue with sometimes with people on the internet you know um but all right uh let's see here gunslinger says imagine it actually being persona 5 stadia that's that's just silly. I think that's just silly. But anyway, moving on. Um, Gudon says, "Player since um, Reg- I don't like imagining dumb things like that. I don't even have time to imagine dumb stuff." Uh, let's see. Reggie is start- starting his own online game store. And Persona Five S will be exclusive to the Reginator store. All right. I'm not reading any more stupid comments. <laughs> All right. Dave Kenny says, "Persona Five, or at least not. I'm not reading any more bad jokes. How about that? Unless you unless you clearly note that it's a bad joke beforehand." Um, Dave Gaming says Persona Five, uh, Persona Five uh, Super Super Switch is my guess. Persona Five Super Switch, what? <laughs> what? What? Uh, what? <laughs> What's that? Um, let's see. They are going to add one letter each month until September. So Persona Five S in April, Persona Five S W in May, until it finally spells Persona Five Switch. <laughs> That's actually funny. Uh, let's see here. A Psycho Fly says, why can't they announce all this in one day? Would it t- um, would it take too long? Why can't they announce all what in one day? Pretentious Carrot says, um, player, since I'm more uh, hyped for Persona 5 R as the new content, and I've beaten Persona 5 like three times, a Switch port would be cool, but it wouldn't. Uh, but I wouldn't spend 60 bucks on the game I've already played, but that's my opinion. Yeah, that's fine. Then you play whatever you want to, and the people who haven't played it, because there's been 100 million PlayStation 4s, and the game's only sold 2.5 million units. There's 30 something million uh, Nintendo Switches out there. Uh, probably a lot of people who haven't played the game yet. Most people haven't played it. You've played it and beat it three times, but to be honest, you're in the minority. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Even though the game sold 2.5 million or whatever, you're in the you're in the minority of people who've played the game. So it opens it up to people who haven't played it. So so if you don't want to spend, that's fine. You're more interested in the other game. That's cool. No problem. Uh, Shadow King says, I would like to get the same treatment as Dragon Quest XI S or the Royale be the S in the same content. The way people won't need to buy it twice. Uh, just buy it on their preferred platform. Well, the thing about it, though, man, is like if they were already developing it to the point to where like... Hey, this is like what we're going to do and we're going to release it at this point and maybe the S version gets the content later or maybe it gets released at some other point. I mean, there's nothing you can do. I mean, either they wait for them to finish everything or they get Persona 5 out around the same time that Joker's in Smash. I mean, if they couldn't finish the content for the Persona 5 S and that's the Switch version, then they couldn't finish the content or if it's coming later or if Sony paid for it, what can you do? So, I mean, that's that's just how it is if that's how it is um dynamic system says um if you had to give a percentage chance of switch persona 5 announcement what would it be 50 percent or higher vesper says jason schreier said as far as he knows persona 5 isn't coming to switch that's uh, that's kind of damning for me your thoughts i don't know why you'd say that's kind of damning for you based on what um uh, based on based on jason schreier just because he doesn't know but what, 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 how is that damning for you i'm sorry man that that's ridiculous uh Melface sky says the s in persona 5 s could just mean switch it could um, let's see here, Matthew Jenkins. I, you should never sit there and put all your eggs in a a Kotaku journalist. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I'm not trying to. The guy does great work researching stuff like that, but you should never put all your trust in a Kotaku journalist, okay? And when, especially when it comes to Persona or when it comes to Japanese news. I'm sorry, you should not put your trust in him. That is not damning at all. But hey, you want to you want to believe him? Feel free. 
Um, let's see here. Uh, Matthew Jenkins says, uh, I'm hoping Persona 5S is a Switch version of Persona 5, but it's Atlas, so who knows? I'm hope I think everybody's thinking that. Um, let's see here. Sean Wilson says, Directs are nice, but hoping for Twitter and seeing a cool or unexpected game announcement for Switch is much better, in my opinion. Well, I mean, I don't think... I think just... Eating what's on your plate is cool. Then getting announcements as they come is cool. Like, we just got to direct in February. Like, we don't need this constant direct, 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 direct. We need to direct every single, like, month. Oh, direct, direct, direct. Like, the problem is that, like, people get too crazy with this stuff. Like, I've started to notice this over the over the years, man. Like, people, like, we just have a direct. When's the next? Literally, a week later, when's the next direct? People came and asked me questions on it. And they're being dead serious, you know? Like, not even, like, a couple months, like, when's the next direct? Like, people are going nuts and, like, scratching their head like Tyrone Biggums. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, can we get some directs in here? Like, it's like, just chill and play the games that are coming. Jesus, you know, like <laughs> people go too crazy with these direct stuff, man. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> um, P -P Persona Five uh, was already so long. Do you think Persona Five R could add a whole new palace? Well, I think it could add more content. Think of like Persona Four Golden, you know um nathan drake says persona 5r will come to the switch when atlas sees persona 5r sold 1 million and an install base of 95 million plus ps4s it could come later i mean that's the thing it could come as like a download or it could come later i mean i i just don't know how they're gonna do it we're just gonna have to wait and see guys we have no idea how they're gonna do it um i don't know what persona 5s is but it's a persona game it's something i mean it's not is it on ps4 again i mean what is it you know what i'm saying like it, we know it's a persona 5 game we just don't know what Persona, like, we, we don't know what it is in general, but it's a game. It's a Persona 5 game, but we just don't know what system or what it is. So, I mean, there you go. Um, do you need to play any Persona game before Persona 5? No, they're all different stories. Um, all right, you're spamming something stupid, so you're going to get, you're going to get uh, timed out. <clears throat> Vesper says, uh, maybe it's because Shrier hinted uh, at Demon Souls remake, so that's why I want to believe everything he says. Oh, but you are right. Wait a minute. So because he hinted at Demon Souls remake, by the way, which he got from somebody else, but because he hinted at a Demon Souls remake, and because he he was privy to that knowledge, that means you're gonna believe everything else he has to say. When has Jason Schreier had any of the beat when it comes to Persona news, or when it comes to Atlas? When is he? I don't understand that. Demon Souls has nothing to do with Persona or Atlas. So let me ask you a question. When has he linked anything when it comes to Persona or anything like that? When has he been credible on any of that? Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't understand. I don't get that link. I mean, you shouldn't put all your faith in anybody just because they get one or two things right. I just, I think that's, but then again, you know, I'm on the other side. You're on one side when it comes to consumers. I'm on the other side, whereas I get information here and there. So, I mean, like, I don't put in my faith in anybody all the way. Like, and I don't sit there and say, oh, well, because he says something, that means this isn't going to happen. Or because he says something, that means it's going to happen. Like, it's, this is damning. He said, he said it. Oh, no. Like, you should never do that, dude. You should never do that. Um, let's see here. What's exactly wrong with Kotaku? Um, like I said, I'm not going to get into that myself, but, uh, I personally don't feel, I personally feel that there's some, there's some shoddy stuff going on, but like I said, I won't, I won't get into it too much in terms of in depth, but Hey, let them do their thing. You know, they do what they do, but I'm not going to get into it too much, but Hey, uh, you can look up, you can look up plenty of, plenty of things on the internet, but Hey, like I said, I will, I'll pass on that to actually detail stuff. Plenty of it, plenty of it's out there on the internet for you to uh, look up. I don't want to soil the, the stream with stuff here. Um, Let's see here. <clears throat> um, Anthony uh, Albert says, I agree. Persona 5S uh, for the Switch with some exclusive Nintendo exclusive content and some stream streamlining would uh, much like Persona 4 uh, Golden. That might be what Persona 5R is. Let's see here. Um, Persona 5 Silver. Okay. Um, I don't know if he said that he doesn't know if Persona 5 is coming to Switch. He said that specifically knows it isn't. Um, he was vague. Okay. Well, that's, I don't, guys, I don't care. God, you, look, listen, 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 understand the words that are coming in my mouth. I do not care about what Jason Schreier, what Jason Schreier says from Kotaku. That doesn't make my opinion. That doesn't influence me one way or another. I don't care about what Jason Schreier says. He's revealed nothing when it comes to it. Very good at talking about Mass Effect and what happened. Very good at talking about other things. 
but he's shown nothing for me to believe him one way or not. So you guys can sit there and pander to his ass all stream if you want to. I am not going to do that. Okay? Thank you. I think I'm done with that topic. Um, I'm done. I'm done with that. I don't care if you guys think, oh, he said it. I don't. Does it look like I care? I don't care. <laughs> so stop bringing it up as if it's some type of talking point for me to. Oh, well, I guess I've changed my. I guess, guess that 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 seals it. <laughs> Moving on. Let's see here. Maybe exclusive personas such as Link and Ganon personas. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Sheaf is it Sheaf three three five says semi bad joke that that could be real. Persona, it's Persona five soft. A line of plushies that was hinted at during the Atlas survey. I, I don't think that would be it, but <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like, hey guys, we got these new plushies, soft plushies, Persona 5 soft plushies. Even though they already said it's going to be a game and there's like a website or the game. But hey, you know, you never know. You never know. Um, oh, well, the voices kill me every time. I'm sorry, man. I can't, it's just like, I don't know why people think that I... Like, you sit there and take people's word as gospel, dude. Like, oh my goodness. Like, he doesn't know that he doesn't know. Like, who gives it? I was about to cuss. Who cares? Like, that's what he said. Okay, that's what he thinks. We'll see what happens. I mean, like... <laughs> I'm not saying don't trust Kotaku in general. I'm not saying that. I mean, if they've got research, if they've got analysis, if they've got stuff that they're doing and you can clearly see what they're doing, then okay, then that person wrote a, a good thing. But, you know, for me personally, I don't put my trust and my faith in people that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't put my trust and faith in people. If I don't know you, that doesn't mean I'm going to sit there and believe everything that you're going to say or sit that this is damning because he said it. Like, I'm not I'm not going to sit there. Now I can say, hey, look, like, you know, this person says if he's gotten stuff right before in the past. OK, cool. But I'm not going to sit there and, and bring it up as if like this dude, what this words is like. the It's like written in the book of what everything he says is correct. Like, hell no, nah, bro. I've been doing this for too long to do that. I mean, I've done that before, and it's bit me in the butt a million times. Like, way too many times for me to count. Yo, you guys remember the Switch reveal? Yeah. Like, there's been all sorts of stuff, man. So I'm good. I'm good on that, you know? Um, I follow Stone Cold Way of Trust. The DTA, don't trust anyone. Um, let's see here. So Warren Y says, if we get a Persona 5 on Switch... Will there be a physical copy or digital only? That's something that we don't know, man. Like, uh, it seems too big to be digital uh, to be digital only. But it'd be hard to predict these things. I, I, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I think it would probably be physical too because it just would be. If anything, at the very least, it'd be physical in Japan and import. But you know, I have no idea. Um, one problem I see with adding a new palace is that the original palaces were based on seven deadly sins of humanity. So I can't see uh, what a new palace could be based upon. Well, maybe they just add a new scenario after. Maybe it's not a new palace, but they just add new, a new scenario outside of a palace or outside of something. Or they create a whole different type of thing. Um, so, um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Persona 5 uh, Switch better have Bowser Persona. It's not going to happen, guys. This is Bowser's Personas and... Out here, Ridley persona and stuff like that. They ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it. Now, maybe they do some type of item, like Ridley pendant or Bowser pendant or something like that. Some type of item you can get or equip or something like that. But I don't know about like a whole persona and stuff like that, man. That's too much. <laughs> That's too much. Man, y'all crazy. Some of you guys crazy. Uh, Vesper says, I mean, maybe the subtitle doesn't start with S. Persona, uh, P4U was Persona 4 Arena as a P5U domain, most probably. Uh, so who knows? It doesn't have to start with S. I'm not saying it has to start with S. All I'm saying is that that's what they've trademarked. They trademarked Persona 5S. That's what it is. That's what people are going off of. They, tra they trademarked Persona 5R, and it turned out to be Persona 5 The Royale. So all people are saying that, hey, maybe S has something to do with the name. You know, I mean, like, just because we just got Persona 5, the Royale announced, and that was Persona 5 R. So this is just people putting two and two together. These announcements are right back to back from each other. So what's going to happen here, you know? So there you go. Um, Let's see here. Yo, what's up, Ataki? What's good, my man? Good to see you here. Um, I, uh, is it? It's Luminous, right? Luminous is awesome. Yeah, it is. I'm so happy I waited. But um all right bowser was sum summonable by bayonetta don't forget yeah that's true but i think that's a little bit of a different situation it wasn't fully bowser it was just bowser's hands 
You know what I'm saying? Like it was just it was just his hands. And Bayonetta is a bit different because Bayonetta is an exclusive on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, Bayonetta one was not an exclusive, but Bayonetta two was an exclusive. So it was kind of like that incentive to pick it up. Now, if Persona Five was somewhat like an exclusive, or there was some type of exclusive Persona Six coming to the Switch, Nintendo published that. Okay, that I can see some crossovers and stuff like that. You know, maybe there's a little bit more. But this isn't. This might be the vanilla version when the PS4 is getting a better version, or it might be the it might be the same. We don't know. Um, but I don't know, man. I mean, we could, like I said, we could see something, but you, you we never know what these, I'm not going to sit here and like say, okay, yeah, it's going to happen, you know? So, so yeah, man. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and move on to the next topic here. Mods, once again, let people know about the dates and the times for the uh, Persona stuff when new people come in. Um, all right. So Luminous remastered PS4 and Switch limited, uh, run physical editions announced pre-orders start on April 26th. And I'm gonna be pre-ordering this. I waited on this game, and uh, yeah, it's Lu Lu Minus. Yeah, Lu Minus. That's how you pronounce it. L O. Well, the pronunciation is L O U dash M I N dash E S. So uh, Lu Minus. Um, anyway, so Lu Minus Remastered first launched uh, digitally. Oh, hold up, hold up. No, limited run games will sell a limited run physical edition of Lu Minus Remastered for PlayStation 4 and Switch via the uh, limited run games online store on April 26th. Starting at 7 a.m. PT slash 10 a.m. Eastern Time, the distributor has announced. That, excuse me. So, uh, Luminous Remastered first launched digitally for the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC in June 2018. Here's an overview of the game. Well, we're not going to go over the overview, but this game is pretty cool. We're going to go over the, some of the key features of the game. Uh, feel the sound. Play over 40 skins with electronic atmospheres from chill to upbeat. Shuffle skins like a music playlist as more unlocked in a new shuffle mode. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm and blocks dropping from the dynamic HD rumble of the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, as well as the DualShock 4 and Xbox One controllers. From what I understand, the HD rumble of the Joy-Con absolutely trashes, <laughs> absolutely trashes it because of what they do, like with the blocks dropping and everything. Uh, choose to feel both rhythm and blocks or just the blocks. Feel the vibration, turn on the trance vibration and sync multiple controllers to feel the bass across your body. Feel the challenge. Faster tempos means less time to make combos, but slower songs can mean uncleared stacks. You'll get hooked. Um, uh, um, let's see if people used to pronounce it Loom Unnez. Really? Uh, feel the fun. Uh, take the challenge to unlock the skins and avatars. Play against friends in a versus two-player mode or climb the ranks to the top of the online leaderboard. So, so there you go. Online leaderboards. Uh, a lot of content. Remastered version of the game. Looks good. HD. HD Rumble in there, uh, limited run physical edition. I'm definitely copping this. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at. Um, yeah, it's coming soon. They have a deluxe edition. Whew, they have a lot of different editions. Um, it's gonna be twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine for the um, for the for the game. Um, you can get a remastered a deluxe edition for sixty four ninety nine. And then you can get a Switch uh, Limited Edition Ultimate Edition for $139.99 on the Switch. And it comes with a ton of stuff. It comes with um, it comes with a Switch Limited Run uh, Luminous Remastered, uh, 18 by 24 poster, beautiful LP vinyl soundtrack, uh, premium rigid box to house the game and soundtrack, removable Nintendo Switch branded sleeve, foiled uh, stamped individually numbered certificate of authenticity, Hand signed by series creator. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Lumin is remastered and um, uh, enamel logo pin. Lumin is remastered keychain. So let's. Dude, this is freaking nuts. Let's take a look at it. So this is. Uh, this is everything you get here. Um, this is. Does this thing change like that too? While you're. This. Oh, the keychain. Does it really light up and change like that? So you get all this stuff here. You get a vinyl soundtrack. That's freaking dope. If I was like an audiophile, I'd totally get this. Like, because that would be dope to be able to play this. Like, if you have like some turntables and stuff, that's really cool. Certificate, all this stuff, man. That's really cool. It's expensive though. Um, so yeah, that's that. <clears throat> um, if you guys have any questions on... Um, on this you guys can let me know i'll be more than happy to answer it 
um answer any questions you guys have uh anthony albert says might have to double dip on this yeah for 29.99 i think it's not a bad double dip um i like i said i didn't buy it because i was like you know what this is probably going to sell really well and i'm like this is probably going to get a limited run or there's going to be a physical edition at some point because i know it's going to do well and it did well i think it, it did well enough on ps4 xbox one pc and switch so it did really well on, on switch though the switch version outsold the other versions by a lot so i already knew like it was gonna get like a limited run physical edition so i was like you know i'm just gonna wait and like i we have to wait about a year but hey hey sometimes you gotta sometimes good things come to those who wait um we're talking about luminous remastered um so yeah never heard of it yeah it's actually a pretty cool game it's actually a pretty cool game uh let me let me show off kind of like a little bit about what it is so some of you guys are wondering like what is this game like why are people talking about it um so so let's see here um let's see master uh trail let's go to the trailer so you guys can just see it uh okay <laughs> So it's like you go through and you create, it's, like it's like a puzzle game, but it's like a music puzzle game. It's actually super fun. I played it back in the day when it first came out on PSP. Yes. The music's dope too. So yeah, it came out last year. So there you go. That's kind of a little look at it. There's a lot of cool different tracks and stuff like that. It's a good, it's a good, one. it's good. Um, if you like music, if you like music rhythm games, it's good. Um, all right, so let's move on from that. Next up, Tetris Dance Edition. There you go. Next up, Kingdom Hearts 3 Critical Mode Update launches tomorrow. So big day tomorrow for um, various different things. Um, but Kingdom Hearts 3, for those who are looking to get into Kingdom Hearts 3, or if you want to buy the game for the first time, because it is cheaper. Like I see, I've seen it for like 35 bucks at a lot of places, 35 to 40 bucks. So you can actually get the uh, critical mode and get the game. Not bad. He said, Nomura says, we've changed things up from the previous game. So let's, let's talk about it. Kingdom Hearts 3 will add critical mode via a free update on April 23rd, PT. Uh, April 23rd slash April 24th. J uh, it, says there, it says, I don't know why it puts time. It, it didn't put a time. It just says PT 24th. Okay, so April 23rd, it'll go up. So it'll go up tomorrow and then April 24th in Japan. Uh, and here's what Nomura had to say. We've changed things up from the previous games, so I hope you enjoy. Director Tetsuya Nomura said in an announcement, Kingdom Hearts 3 is available now for the PS4 and Xbox One. So there you go. Uh, you guys want to get Kingdom Hearts 3 critical mode, the hard mode in the game. Uh, this is going to give you a challenge. It's going to completely remix things for you. It's not just going to be like, oh, every enemy is just harder to beat. You know, apparently this is really going to change things up. So as soon as this game is probably, when I can get this game for 20 bucks, I'm going to buy it physical on the xbox one and i'm going to uh get the critical mode and play it so I, I haven't bought the game yet um just because i didn't feel the need to buy the game just because i don't want to spend 60 bucks on the game because i know it, it'd probably get it'd probably be cheap by the end of the year <laughs> and it's already being cheaper by the end of the year excuse me so there you go um so yeah critical mode man um so let's not stir things up but can uh but dlc but dlc you hear what game said about you people are uh some pe games said about who's Gamesta? I don't know who's I don't know who's Gamesta is. Um I don't know who that is and I don't care. Um I don't care what, what he said about me. I really don't care what he said about me. I don't know who it is, I don't care what he said about me. So yeah, there you go. Um uh, Alonzo Vine says Best Buy will be getting Luminis uh Luminis remastered, physical copies as well. Okay, nice, nice. Um Dank Meme says Gamester Gamester Yeah, I have no I have no idea who that is and I don't I really don't care who he, what he said. Don't care. Um, Dank Meme says, um, I played Luminis on the PlayStation Portable. And I, and have you played uh, Patapon before? The music is neat. No, I, ha I, don't, I haven't played Patapon before. I haven't played it before. Uh, Big Mo says, yeah, I played it on my PSP when, I, when it first came out. Really excited for the physical edition. Okay, cool, cool. Um, let's see here. What is critical mode? Critical mode, yeah, it's like the harder mode in the game. It's like the harder mode in the game. So, like, a lot of people were saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 was too easy. You know, it was way too easy. So, so yeah. Um, Patapon 1 and 2 are truly innovative and absolutely amazing. 3 is pretty good. Okay. Patapon is one of the only franchises I think Nintendo fans should be jelly of. Okay. Patapon. That's that game. That was on PS Vita, too, wasn't it? So, yeah. 
All right, so if you guys have any questions on critical mode or anything like that, let me know in the chat. I'll be more than happy to answer questions for you guys. I'll be more than happy to answer questions for you guys. Uh, yeah, Patapon. So, are you guys thinking Patapon's better than than L Lumina's remastered or something? Critical mode. Yeah, critical mode is the hard mode. Yeah, it's the hard mode. It's it's like a it's a hard mode. The PSP shoulder buttons um, are all the only downfall to Patapon. Is it? You said they're too stiff. Okay. Big, uh, Big Mo says I played I played on my PSP when it first came out. Uh, really excited for this physical edition. Okay. Let's see here. Way different style of rhythm games. Uh, Patapon was boring as boring as hell to me. Okay, says Beetlejuice. Pretty sure Patapon ended on 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 uh, Patapon ended on three, on PSP. Patapon is a rhythm strategy game, so that's not really uh, comparable to uh, Luminous. To be fair, okay. I love Luminous. Um, I had it for, had it on the 360. That was on the 360. Let's see. Oh, never mind. I don't care about hard mode. Just want the. Uh, I just want the game easy. Daddy time is high. Gaming time is now is, is low. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. It just pissed me off. I felt like you had to buy the levels separate. Oh. Okay. Okay, I didn't know about that. Patapon is a game that I have. I think I've played it like on a PSP like demo unit back in the day. There was like a demo unit. And it had like, uh, had like a bunch of different stuff on there, you know. Um, so it had like, uh, uh, places in battle, like places in All Stars Battle Royale, like on the PSV. And I think there's like Patapon, like backwards compatibility or whatever. Like, I remember playing it at some point. Yo, what's up, TCRX Gaming? How you doing today, my boy? How you doing today? Um, all right, so if you guys have any other questions on that, you guys let me know. Um, be more than happy to. Um, so I, I says I can't believe I missed the first hour. It's all good, man. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. They'll get you. Um, they'll get you. Um, get you notifications and stuff better than what YouTube does. All right, so let's move on to the next topic here, guys. Uh, then we'll get into random Q and A because I know you guys have a lot of questions. Um, fitness boxing. You guys know about this game, fitness boxing? Apparently, like Nintendo helped out with this game. Like, Nintendo like published this or published this game or something like that. People talk about fitness boxing. Like, hey, you should play fitness boxing. Yeah, Nintendo published this game. N Nintendo did publish this game, um, and it came out back in January. Um, but fitness boxing apparently sold ship fitness boxing shipments and digital sales top three hundred thousand units. On the Nintendo Switch, so total 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 worldwide shipments and digital sales for Fitness Boxing have reached 300,000 units. Publisher Imagineer announced the exercise rhythm game first launched for the Switch in December 2018 in Japan, Europe, and Australia, and in January 2019 in North America. In Japan, the digital version of the game will um, the digital version of the game will be available at a 20% off discount price on the Nintendo eShop during a Golden Week sale from April 25th to May 8th. So there you go. Golden Week and Fitness Boxing. Apparently this game is selling okay. Because it's just like, I mean, you guys can kind of see what Fitness Boxing is about. We're going to go and go to the fit, Fitness Boxing trailer. This dang game wasn't expensive to make. And if they're passing 300,000 units, that's money in the bank. <laughs> fitness Boxing. Fitness Boxing trailer. Yeah, it's a small budget game. Uh, here's the the it's a they have a 30 second launch trailer, so I guess we can we can take a look at at this. Was it pretty fun? Let's get started. Get some exercise in. Looking people for these commercials, man. It just goes, it just drops the joy con. Is is that how you guys approach, you know, loved ones, family, or friends? You just go up to them, or is this like, a, is this like a cultural thing, you know? Is it because like my like I don't I don't see it. 
Is this like a thing that only happens with certain types of people or something? I'm not really sure what's going on there in that ch- <laughs> All right, man. Um, so there you go. Uh, so there you go, man. Uh, that was fitness boxing. <clears throat> Let's go back to here. Um, are, are we going? To, um, are you? Are we going to see you play this, OJ? Nah, I'm not trying to play fitness boxing, bro. I'm not trying to play fitness boxing. Uh, Big Mo three seventy five says, yeah, but I ain't paying fifty or whatever it costs. Yeah, I don't know how much it costs. I don't know how much it costs. I don't care how much it costs. So, so yeah, man. Um. So yeah, uh, El Camacho says I was really uh, I I really liked showing of uh, uh, trailers and talking about it. Really digging the transitions and stuff. Oh yeah, no problem, dude. No problem. So yeah, that was the trailer for Fitness Boxing. Um, I'm not gonna buy it, but maybe I'll get it one of these days. I don't know. Maybe I mean it'd be kind of cool to like like let's say I can't work out. Like let's say let's say I, like my car's in the shop, you know, and like I can't get to the gym. I think it'd be kind of cool to kind of replace you know replace a workout with Fitness Boxing. So. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll pick it up. Maybe one of these days. You know what they should do? If they did fitness boxing, you get it with some Joy-Cons for free. Like, so let's say you get fitness boxing. Like, you buy some new Joy-Cons and you get fitness boxing with it. Kind of like how they did like Wii, Wii Play. I'd probably I'd probably do that. Like, if, so if they ever did a, a Joy-Cons, different color Joy-Cons with fitness boxing packed into like a physical copy, just like they did with Wii Play, I'd probably pick it up. Because that's the reason why like everybody bought like Wii Play or whatever. It was because of you know the the um, the the the, re- the Wii remote that you got in there, so yeah, man. Uh, you could walk to the gym if your car's in the shop. Well, what if I live? What if I live fifteen to twenty miles from the gym? Am I really going to sit there and walk to the gym in the summer when it's blazing hot outside? You know, or just walk to the gym? It's going to take me a freaking like you don't even know how far I live away from the gym though. It's not like it's like right next door. Like, what if it's really far away to where to where the walking distance is too long? Then what? Then I'm tired by the time that I even get there. I'm already tired. That doesn't make sense. Um, let's see. Your charity Scott says, hey, just peeking in. What does this channel consist of? It consists of Nintendo Switch gaming news. It consists of skits. It consists of live streams, Q&As, RPG gaming, Xenoblade, and all that stuff. So you can check the about page too. So if you want to know more, if you want to just look through the, the, the stream in terms of what we have on the, on the channel, check it out. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> so let's see. A fitness boxing looks like a lot of fun, but I just ain't trying to spend my fifty on the game that I would set aside. I'll be uh, I'll be playing arms if I'm trying to throw some hands. Yeah, that's true. Arms is pro- arms has more of an in depth mechanic to it. Yeah, you know. Um, at least you can save membership if you just run uh, there and back. Save a membership if you. But what about weights? What if you want to lift weights? Um. So yeah, yeah. Charity Scott, check out what Sean Diamond had to say. And if you do subscribe to the channel, you will get a shot. You you will get a, an official shout out. We do things a little bit differently here, but I think you'll like it, especially if you like Nintendo content. You'll probably like it here. The Joy-Con idea would have a game selling millions. Oh, absolutely. If it if it if it shipped and sold three hundred thousand units without that, if they actually put it with some Joy Cons, it would. I think it would it would sell at least a million. It would it would bump up the sales quite a bit. Everybody would pick it up. It'd be like, okay, yeah, I'm getting some Joy Cons. Okay, here's the game too. But I mean, Nintendo worked with another developer, so they'd have to split those sales with them. But I think it'd be a good way to just I, I think boost the profile of both. You know. Um. So so yeah. Absolutely. Uh, banish it banish it now all right guys so that wraps it up for all the news that was today's news a lot of good stuff kind of maybe either way um i'm exiting out of all this crap so we're gonna get into random q a if you've got questions i've got answers feel well wait a minute hold up why is xenoblade x trending Okay, not anything crazy. Okay, there's just people just talking about. They're just it's just trending just be, on my feed just because people are talking about. Somebody put out like a like a point scale on what what they would want. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's, there's not any actual real type of real type of thing or anything like that. <clears throat> um. All right. So let's see here. Yeah, that's why a bunch of games are trending. Yeah, just a bunch of different games. Wonderful 101 or Wonderful 101 is trending. 
Um, Xenoblade Chronicles X is trending, but it's not really anything like based on that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into uh, questions. So if you have a questions, tag me at Player Essence, hashtag Player Essence, or just Player Essence, capital P, capital E, um, and all one word. Make sure you spell it right, or it won't show up uh, as the as the thing right there. So uh, uh, Pitin says fitness boxing has a demo. At least try it out. Yeah, maybe I will. Um, oh great, I missed all the news. You did. <laughs> Random Q and A. Uh, Player Essence, um, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Nah, not really. But I mean, if I ever watch that, I might be. Um, all right, so, okay. Well, since you and your mods were so nice, I'll subscribe. Thanks for welcoming. Um, yeah, okay, Charity Scott, welcome. Welcome, Charity Scott, to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everybody here in the chat, please welcome Charity Scott to the village. Appreciate that. Um, good to see you here. Good to see you here. Hopefully you like the, hopefully you enjoy the content. Hopefully you enjoy it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see here. Let's continue on. Any other questions, peeps? We got a lot of time for questions. Tetrafan1000 with the subscription as well. Thank you so much, Tetrafan. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Players. It's everybody Chappies. Welcome, Tetrafan, to the village. Two subscriptions back to back. Let's go. Back to back. Um, all right. So... I literally click subscribe on every video ever. Don't know why anyone wouldn't. <laughs> um, says, you're welcome. All right, Tetra fan. No problem. Good to see you here. Ashoka Tano says, which JRPG would you like to switch to have other than Persona 5? Persona 5. No, I'm joking. Um, also, do you have any inside information on potential big unannounced games coming to the Switch? Uh, on your second question, yes, but I'm not going to say it. On your first question, um, Skies of Arcadia or Lost Odyssey. Lost Odyssey is not going to happen, but Skies of Arcadia one of these days. Uh, Fazimoto says, did, uh, did you happen to see the whole crab drama with HBox? I did see. So, somebody threw a crab. Somebody threw a freaking crab at, um, at, uh, at HBox, who's a professional Smash Brothers Melee player and Smash Ultimate commentator, also Twitch streamer, sp sponsored by Team Liquid. Um, yeah, he's the best player in the world in Melee, actually. <laughs> How dare me? He's the best player in the world in Melee. Um, he's, he's ranked number one in the world. And, um, and yeah, somebody threw a crab at him after he, beat, he, he ran the setback um, against uh, Mango. Uh, somebody just threw a crab at him after he won. It was it almost hit him too. So Hungrybox was like, he. I don't think that's ever happened to Hungrybox. I mean, he's been called a lot of things, you know. But ever, somebody, nobody's ever thrown a crab at him. So interesting, and stupid at the same time. Um, what player adapted the most from Pound Tourney? Ally, Ally for sure. Ally was getting, Ally was getting bopped at times. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ally had a lot of, like, I'm down 2-1s, I'm down 0-2s, and comes back Ally. Ally, by far, adapted the most throughout Pound. Like, and even some of the sets that I watched him play where he was struggling a little bit, he adapted very well. I, I have not... I think Ally's finally leveled his game up quite a bit. I mean, we did have some of the... I mean, the... There, I mean, there was some, there was some people missing, right? I mean, um, we didn't see Tweak. Tweak wasn't there. There was a lot of Japanese players missing. Obviously, Shutan wasn't there. Um, you know, um, there was missing. There was some people missing. Cosmos wasn't there. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, like it was still stacked. You still had MVD. You still had Esam. You still had Sam Sora. You still had MK Leo. You still had Nairo. You still had. It was. I mean, it was a solid A tier tournament. You know. Uh, you still had Mars. There were some great players there. Salem was there. I mean, it's not like it was easy by any means, you know. And there was, I mean, I think Light was there too. Light, Light was also there um, as well. I think Seagull Joe and some of the other MDVA guys were all there. Anti was there as well. Um, so, yeah, the fact, uh, Leffen, Leffen was there. So the fact that he won that tournament, that's no small feat. I mean, I, to be honest, man, I think it might be easier to make the NFL at this point than win a freaking Smash Brothers tournament. <laughs> Like, so few people can win a Smash Brothers tournament, man. I mean, it, I really do think that all of us have a better chance of making the NFL than freaking winning a Smash Brothers tournament. Um, so, yeah, yeah. No Japanese players. Except for, I think, is Riddles Japanese? The the Richter main? He was there. I'm not sure. I, I think, I'm not sure if he's, like, born in America, a Japanese player, or if he's actually, like, did he travel from Japan. But, uh, uh, but yeah. Um, either way um let's see here. it's better money in the nfl too it is better money in the nfl i swear i swear we could all train for the nfl in terms of just like hardcore train for like a year and just run a fast 40 and maybe get a shot in the nfl <laughs> like, just 
Just run like the fastest 40 ever. I don't know. Just train 100% for the running of 40. Run a 40 at a tryout and just get lucky. I don't know, man. That that seems like it's more of a it's more of a pr probability than winning the freaking Smash Brothers tournament, man. So few people win Smash Brothers tournaments. It, it's crazy. Um, at least high level tournaments. High level tournaments. Like there's only been like out of all the majors in the past since Smash Four. There's only been like a handful of winners. It's like there's not a lot. There's not more than 20, 20 people that have won a major in Smash in Smash Four to Smash um to Smash Ultimate. It's only a handful of people that have actually won a major, like won like an A tier major. Or there's very few people can do that. It's 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 incredible. Um, let's see here. Oh, I played high school uh, ball, but NFL competition would be insane. Yeah, I didn't say actually being good in NFL. I just said making this team. Just like I said, if somehow you run a four three forty, you might make the team, dude. <laughs> like that movie Invincible, man. Like you all know that movie Invincible, where the dude just like ran a fast ran a fast forty at a tryout and like was on the team in special teams. <laughs> Dude ran a fast forward. He was like on the team. So yeah, man. Um, I think Lost Audience is possible, especially since Nintendo and Microsoft are becoming buddy buddy. But Blue Dragon is a uh, is a possibility. I don't know. I think Blue Dragon might be a little bit more of a possibility than than Lost Odyssey, just because Blue Dragon um, was already on the DS. But we'll have to wait and see. I guess right. Riddles is Canadian. Um, he's from my region. Oh, he's Canadian. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Uh, he's Canadian. Oh, you're oh Tetra fan. You're Japanese. Cool. And you also speak Japanese too. Awesome. Good. I'm going to you for translations. <laughs> yeah, TetraFan, can you follow me on Twitter? By any chance? I, I don't know. Do you have a Twitter, TetraFan? Um, all right. Let's move it on here. Uh, Vice says, are you excited for the 25th? Are we going to see a long live stream if Persona 5 is confirmed for the Switch on that day? Uh, yeah, you guys will definitely see a live stream if Persona 5 is confirmed for the Switch. They'll definitely be. <laughs> but if it isn't confirmed, oh, man, you know people are going to be coming after me. Um, all right. So uh, Nathan is Drake says, I'm surprised people are shocked when they see Nintendo third-party games don't look as good as other consoles looking like that Pikachu meme. <laughs> I know, seriously, huh? Um... All right, let's move it on here. Move it on. Dragon Gamer says, do you think Fatal Bolt will get a release date during E3? I think we'll get a release date before E3. <clears throat> Pulls out steroids. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. Then uh, preemptively gets caught for steroids once you're in the NFL. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, the pro smash thing might be harder. I'm... Almost positive it is harder to win a Smash Brothers tournament than it is to make the NFL. Let's just talk about people who actually played growing up. Like, let's just say you played football, you're a good size, you're a good, you know, you're a good athlete, but also you played Smash Brothers, you know, and you played and you practiced. I swear it's it's, it's easier to it's easier to to uh, win or to make the NFL than it is to win a win a, a top tier tournament in Smash Brothers. I swear it is. I, I, I'm almost positive because like hundreds of new players get to the NFL every year. Whereas like how many new players win smash tournaments? That's the thing. Like now if smash tournaments had all sorts of people, you know, over the years winning, I mean, even if you go back to melee, right? Like look at how hard it is to win a melee tournament. Like it's all pretty much the gods. That's it. When, when the gods are in attendance, they usually win, you know, or it's plop or it's Levin. Like there's only like a handful of people that can even win a, a, a top tier tournament and Smash Melee or Smash 4 or Ultimate. It's like, there's only like a few people. There's there's like this select group of elite people that can win a tournament. Everybody else, even though there's thousands of people who play competitively, you know, they can't win. Whereas like, there's hundreds of thousands of players in the NFL that get in. Every year, there's a bunch of new players that get in. There's a bunch of players that who aren't even that great that get in. Like, there's no such thing as not being good and winning a Smash Brothers tournament. You know, well, there maybe there's one exception. Maybe there's a few, but for the most part, nah. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> With all the huge games Nintendo has planned for this year, I hope they have plenty more titles for next year. Don't really want a uh, want a 2018 repeat. Um, well, I, I don't know, man. I mean, are you looking at the release lineup? Are you watching the, are you watching my videos that I'm doing? I don't know why you're saying you don't really want a 2018 release, uh, repeat when they've already announced, uh, Super Mario Maker. They've already announced Marvel Ultimate Alliance. They've already announced, uh, God Eater. They've already announced, um, AI The Summoning Files. They've already announced Fire Emblem Three Houses. They've already announced Astral Chain. They've already announced, um, they've already announced uh, Luigi's Mansion. They've already announced Animal Crossing. They've already announced Pokemon. They've already announced all these games. I don't know why you're saying I don't want to repeat. 
Dragon's Dogma is coming out. Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out. I mean, there's a heck of games. There's heck of first party and third party games that are coming out, exclusives and not exclusives. So I don't know why you're saying I don't want a repeat of 2018 when stuff has already been announced. So, so yeah, man. Um, moving on. <laughs> I don't. I don't get that question. I don't get why, what you're trying to say. Um, Warren Wise says, "Just heard about the announced Cuphead DLC, Delicious Last Course. Has there been any announcement of DLC coming to the Switch? Can't seem to find the answer. Yeah, it's already announced for the Switch. The Delicious Last Course. It's going to be on Switch too." Um, Sadly, I don't have uh, I don't have it signed in or created uh, created uh, right now yet. All right, yeah, create one and then follow me on Twitter, Tetra fan. Um, are you going to play the new Sea of Thieves campaign mode when it comes out on fourth April thirtieth? Um, hmm, sea of Thieves. Let me see what what's the campaign look like. Let me check. Let me check. Let me see. I'm gonna we're gonna check it out right now. How about new? No, you crazy Dutch bastard! <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just said, it just walked right into that one. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to act serious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, nah. I, I ain't played it, bro. <laughs> How about new? I'm sorry, man. No, I ain't, I ain't gonna be playing it. Don't don't worry, man. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I just, it's just an entertainment of the stream. But oh no, Thanos, no, I, I ain't playing it, bro. Um, I don't even have C of these, so so yeah, man. I've done literally no content on the game on the channel. Um, Art is live says maybe it's easier to get a shot in the NFL than to win a Smash tourney, but it's harder to stay in the NFL than it is uh, than it is to win a Smash tourney. I don't know, bro. You confused me with what you just said. Thank Meme says, what do you predict will be the switch sales for the fiscal year? Yeah, about like 35 million, something like that. Um, 35 million or so. Had to do it to him. Um, had to do it to him. Shadow King says, for instance, how long does it typically take for Play Asia order to ship? I ordered Final Fantasy X off there on Thursday, but it's still preparing order. Um, it should have already shipped. Mine already shipped, so I should have already shipped, dude. Um, so yeah, man, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on with your order. You might want to call them, make sure everything's good. Make sure everything's like set up and ready to go. So. <clears throat> All right, guys, any other questions? We still got a lot of stream time left, man. We still got a lot of stream time left just because we went through, we went through topics pretty quickly. Um, so, so yeah. Let me see if there's anything else new on any of the topics that we that we went over. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Favorite N64 game? Uh probably like GoldenEye 007 or I don't like I don't really like N64 too much. Probably like GoldenEye or like Perfect Dark. Uh, perfect Dark or Gold. Probably like Perfect Dark, maybe. Yeah, Perfect Dark. I'm trying to think. I don't like N64 that much. Uh, yeah, Perfect Dark. I'm going to go ahead and say Perfect Dark. What's the Days Gone uh, large update looking like? It's looking looking pretty big. <clears throat> looking pretty big. Have any of the Elite Ninja uh, made stages for you yet? Not yet. At least not that I know of. So, so yeah. 
What about GameCube? Favorite GameCube game? Uh, probably like Skies of Arcadia, Legends. Maybe first party favorite first party game. Um, probably like uh, like Baton Kaitos or like Fire Emblem or like um, Metroid Prime. The original Metroid Prime is pretty good. I have a lot of different games that I like on there. I don't like Metroid Prime like more than like Super Metroid and the old school ones, but I do like it. Uh, Beautiful Joe is really good. I don't know if I have like a set one. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Wind Waker is really good. I love the Wind Waker. Uh, Twilight Princess is really good. There's a lot of cool games. I don't know if I have a set one that I can think of in terms of my favorite one. But yeah, those games are all good. Um, You were right about Stage Builder being nerfed. There you go. Warren Wise says, have you looked at the Switch indie lineup for this year? What uh, what are you looking forward to on that front? Cadence of Hyrule, Bloodstained, and Nightcall are a few on my list. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to Cadence of Hyrule just because there's Link and Zelda in there. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, absolutely. I was actually one of the first pre-order backers of that game. Like, I actually backed it on Kickstarter back in the day, like in 2014. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've got since I've been able to get my game. You know, about a good, let's see, 2014, 2015, 2016. 17 2018 ah it's been five years it's been five years okay <laughs> it's been five years since i i mean like yeah yeah i just i just want my game I, I, at this point it's like it's it's dope but I, I just want it um so yeah looking forward to that uh steam world quest is coming out this week I, I got a review code for that so i'll be playing that so yeah pretty cool um <clears throat> eternal darkness is good too eternal darkness is good Fire Emblem, uh, the Path of Radiance is also really good. So, let's see. What is the most appreciated gaming development team? The most appreciated gaming development team? Like, what do you mean? Like, like by the by, like gaming, like media, or like by like what do you mean by by, by uh, users? I don't know, man. I mean, I guess if we're just gonna. Sp- most appreciated i mean i probably like cd project red man like people just love cd project red so i'd probably say cd project red like from like the media standpoint cd project red rockstar mm. I don't know. There's like a lot of microtransactions and stuff that people complain about, but they just, but Rockstar just sells a lot. I don't know if they're actually like appreciated where people praise them. It's just, it's just, they make games that people want. They just make Grand Theft Auto and people just go buy it and play. Grand Theft Auto has a very high rate of casuals who play, as in people who don't play anything but like Madden and Grand Theft Auto. Like they buy Grand Theft Auto when it comes out. And other than that, they're playing like, they're playing like madden or they're playing nba 2k or they're playing like sports games or they barely they barely play so i mean i think it gets its sales from a lot of those people but in terms of appreciation of people talk about like beloved i'd say cd project red is is more than than rockstar that's just my take um people don't really people don't really say the same thing about like rockstar they just buy their games because but like people say all sorts of scummy stuff about Rockstar when it comes to like to their microtransactions and how they do certain things, you know, uh, people don't like that. Whereas CD Projekt Red is much, I think CD Projekt Red is much more beloved than Rockstar is. Just Rockstar sells more games. That's it. Tales of Vesperia uh, first, since it was, um, since it isn't as me. Okay, you're talking to somebody else. Vanos, why are most Smash custom stages have nothing but TNA? I don't, I don't think that's most. Um, I think that's just a select few that Nintendo's already been removing. So there you go. Anthony Albert says, uh, Player Essence, uh, I'm playing through Octopath Travel right now, and it got me thinking about a sequel. What would you like to see in a sequel? If made, I don't know what I'd like to see in a sequel. Um, Maybe probably the ability to be able to switch out of like all your like, eight party members, not have to go to the tavern. That'd probably be one thing, I guess, that they can change. Um, they all get experience too. Like that would be nice. Uh, potentially have some more, um, like how they like, how they do their storytelling could be a little bit different as well. It'd be nice too. So so yeah, it's a couple of different things. Favorite underrated Wii game. Favorite underrated Wii game? Miramasa the Demon Blade, by far. 
CD Projekt Red still needs to prove themselves more, in my opinion. How so? How do you, how, how else more than they need to prove themselves based on what? What more do they need to do to prove themselves as a video game developer? One watch says, playing through Octopath my, um, now myself. Great game, but man, it's long. I kind of want it to end so I can move on. Yeah, it's a long game. There's a lot of content in Octopath. It gives you your money's worth, man. I'll tell you that. CD Projekt Red also has GOG, the absolute best platform in video game history. It's all digital, so I can't agree with that. <laughs> I can't agree with something that's all digital, the best platform ever, because it's all digital. So no, I can't agree with that. But yes, it's very good. In terms of digital platforms, it's it's really good. CD Projekt Red does their best to not BS the consumer. Absolutely, I agree. But digital platforms, I think GOG is really good. Like if you're talking about like storefronts, I think GOG's, I think you're right about that. If you're talking about the best storefront digital only, GOG is really good. I used to buy games on there. Ashoka Tano says, love all the Witcher games. I don't like all the Witcher. I've played all the Witcher games and I don't, I don't like any of them. That's the funny thing. I've played Witcher 1, 2, and 3. I have them all. I have them all on PC. Well, I have Witcher 1 and Witcher 2 on PC. And then I have Witcher 3 on my Xbox One. And I don't like any of them. But I can realize why people like them and why the people, you know, all that stuff. Not to sound like wait why why you gotta why would you sound like a hipster just just by you saying that you played The Witcher when it when it came out? Yeah, it doesn't have the DRM garbage. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys, um, we're going to continue on with this stream here. We do have a lot more stream time left. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. If you're not uh, following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me there. I'm going to link it for you guys for all the latest updates on Twitter. We are going to have um, we are going to have another live stream later tonight. So look forward to that, too. OJ is a hipster for sure. I'm a hipster. How so? <laughs> how am i a hipster I would, I would i would love to know you guys what you guys thoughts are on that murdoch local says what's up man just catching the end of the stream on my way home from work hope your day is going well my day is going well man how are you doing how are you doing um so yeah morning everyone all right morning so that means you are somewhere far away what's up balto dirtfish how you doing today my boy Thanos says CD Projekt Red only has only made uh what three to four games, not enough games and genres. But how does that make them not appreciated though? They're not the most appreciated right now. They didn't say the most historic and appreciated. People say more nice things about CD Projekt Red than they say about Rockstar. People don't really say anything really too nice about Rockstar. They just say that we like Grand Theft Auto. You know, Grand Theft Auto is great, but people say a lot of bad things about like Grand Theft Auto Online, how that's run. The types of people on Grand Theft Auto Online, um, the microtransactions. There's a lot of scummy things that, that people say about Rockstar all the time. It's not like a thing that, that's not known out there. Like, people don't really say bad things about CD Projekt Red when it comes to the company. So we're talking about appreciated, you know, um, online. I mean, if we're talking about, like, developers, like, Nintendo. I mean, you can talk about Nintendo. People say a lot of bad things about Nintendo. People say a lot of good things about Nintendo at, at the end of the day. I think there's probably more in terms of sheer amount of people. Probably more with Nintendo on certain things. I think a lot of Sony's first party studios like Naughty Dog gets a ton of praise, you know? So I think Naughty Dog could be one of those that gets uh, the most appreciated, but I think it's all subjective at the end of the day, right? But people say, people don't really say anything good. About, I, I never see anybody saying anything good about Rockstar Online, to be honest. People just buy the games. <laughs> I, I mean, to, to be completely honest, like do people actually say anything good about Rockstar? I mean, I know people buy their games, but I mean, a lot of people don't really say much about the company itself because he said the most appreciated developer. I'm not sure if Rockstar's appreciated. People just buy their stuff just because. Um... <clears throat> Did you like Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube? Not really, but I played it. Psychopath says, LOL, plus it's back to call... It's a callback when some dude called you a hipster for liking a game or something. LOL. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. 
Psycho Pie, you're right about that. Yeah, some somebody said I was a hipster for I think like in a certain game, and he, he was like, "Yeah, you're OJ, you're a hipster," and he wasn't he was being serious. I'm just like, so that's that's the reason why I think I don't know. Sob said something like, "Oh, like oh, did you hear what, what this person said?" I'm like, dude, I don't. People say all sorts of stuff. They can say whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. I don't even know who half these people are that say stuff. It's like people can say whatever they want if they're not here in the village. They can talk to me straight up, but when people say stuff outside of the village. I'm the Hokage here. I don't worry. Come to my village and say something. We have a problem. But if he's saying stuff outside the village, go ahead. Feel free. Feel free. Say whatever you want. I'm 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 okay. <laughs> I'm gonna trust me. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm I'm happy. I'm okay and I'm happy. So people can say whatever they want. Good. Let them let them talk. <laughs> I don't know who half these people are that say stuff about me. That's how you know I'm doing something right and they're doing something wrong. They saying stuff and I don't know who they are. You know. So there you go. Um, electronic arts, Nathan is Drake. I love that. That that's awesome. Yes, electronic arts, absolutely electronic arts, absolutely. Rockstar is generally very appreci uh, appreciable. Uh, they innovate in storytelling and filmography in video games. They have incredibly witty and dramatic writing. And LA Noir is an amazing uh, genre exclusive. Yeah, their gameplay kind of trash though. But yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh my gosh i see what you i see what you're saying though um but rockstar is owned by a very corrupt mega corporation so sad face debatable debatable <laughs> um when it comes to their storytelling and all that i mean like i can't sit there and say that he's wrong about that i mean they do have great storytelling you know, so there is that. So there you go. Uh, you're excited for Fatal Bullet when it gets the release date for Switch. When it get the release date for Switch. Okay. Yeah. Fatal Bullet's coming at some point. So there you go. Fatal Bullet is coming at some point. For me, it's hard to top San Andreas. Okay. What's your favorite Grand Theft Auto game? Probably San Andreas, but I'll be honest, man, I don't like Grand Theft Auto. I really don't. <laughs> I don't think storytelling makes up for their trash controls. It doesn't for me. Their controls are horrible in all their games. Most of their games' controls are really bad. Um, L.A. Noir controls like... <laughs> it's, it's like that sound like Intergalactic, that, that robot on Intergalactic when you're playing L.A. Noir. All I feel is, is like... I just want to. I just want to be like like the fifties intergalactic robot, dude. Like intergalactic planetary. It just, it just feels like, like a damn robot when you're playing L.A. Noir, dude. I mean, it's a good game at times and everything. Like it has like a good story or whatever it is, man. But like, damn robot can it just feels so blocky and like, like stiff, man. Like. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, both of the difference is the same. They don't innovate gameplay mechanics. Same clunky mess as all Rockstar games. Yeah. It is what it is. Been excited for unannounced games for the first third parties. When are we going to hear about the 2020s for Switch? Wait. Been excited for... Un Wait, how are you excited for unannounced games? Wait a minute. <laughs> From the first and third parties when it's going to 2020 for the... Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Uh, you're excited for unannounced games? <laughs> It's coming! I don't know when, but what it does! Hype. <laughs> Hype. Cuphead on the Switch is so dope. Uh, raging on the go. Yeah, man. You gonna throw your Switch? <laughs> I'm hyped for unannounced games. Okay, but that's true. I mean, you can be excited for like the future, right? So you can be excited for the future and things like what's gonna happen. So I mean, I, I get what you're trying to say. I'm just being, I'm just being silly. I'm just, I'm just being, I'm being silly. I'm being silly. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You can digitally slap me across the face. Um, Alucard says, I'm just waiting on my deluxe edition of Fire Emblem and AI Summoning Files to come in. Yeah, oh, man, dude, oh, that deluxe edition. I cannot wait to pick up that deluxe edition for Fire Emblem. That is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, 
Uh, Markel says, I can't wait to sink 400 hours into Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. I can't wait to sink 400 hours into Fire Emblem Three Houses, dude. I'm to totally excited for that. Super excited for that. I hope AI has uh, better than uh, is better than zero time dilemma. Let's hope. Let's hope. Yo, what up, Avadon? What's up, my boy? How you doing today? How you doing? Good to see you here, man. No, really, though. Good to see you here, dude. Shoutouts. When's, when's your badge changing? Oh, yeah, very soon. Thanro says, what is the rarest game or games you own? You know what? I don't really know because I don't get my games appraised or anything, so I have no idea what's the rarest or anything. Aiden Quinn says, imagine three houses is worse than Fate story-wise. I don't think Fate is bad story-wise, so, so, yeah. You see, uh, I'm good. Got back home, took a nap, ready to work. All right, there you go. Shout outs. Nathan says, what character matchups you feel are not in favor for your mains? I don't know, dude. I don't really think about that. I just play the game. I think more about like what online, what characters are good online. Like King K. Rule can be good online. You know what I'm saying? Like Ganon, Ganon good online. Like I just think about stuff like that, you know, because... You die. You can die really quick. Marvel Ultimate Alliance three is gonna be hype. I'm a newbie Marvel fan, but I've I've been catching up. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be really. Su it's gonna be super hype, man. I'm actually really excited for Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Um, Avadon says, "How was your day, bro? My day was good, man. Um, basically, just uh, what did I do? What have I done today? I went to the gym. Um, I recorded a video, but I need to edit it, so I'll be editing that. Um, I gotta run a couple errands, and then I'll edit that when I get back." And then I've got a live stream tonight, and then I'm going to go to sleep early. I'm going to finish editing the video, then go to sleep early tonight. Uh, I might stream if I can get my video edited in between my second and my third, or in between the next PE live. If I can get that video edited and finished, I'll probably stream a game tonight. I'll probably stream some like Smash Brothers or something tonight if I can get that video edited. So it's going to be a busy day. Busy but good day. Busy but good day. Um, how's your day so far, man? Let's see here. Sam Yoga says, have you played Fire Emblem with the Japanese version of the Nintendo Switch Online Family Come service? No. Player since also two days um, ago marked the 30th anniversary of the release of that game. Yeah, I've not played it on there because I don't really care for the Nintendo Online Switch games. Like, I, I don't really care for those. Um, so, like, I've already played, like, Shadow Dragon and all that. So, I don't really care about playing replaying old games. I don't have time to sit there and replay, like, a game that, like, a Nintendo game that I've already played, like, five billion times or something like that. So... I've already played Shadow Dragon. I've already played the Fire Emblem game, so I'm not gonna get. I don't get too excited for that stuff like that. Like any of the Nintendo games, like I've put like a little bit of time into it. I think my brother has actually put more time into the NES online games on, on my Switch than I have because he was trying to beat uh, the Ghosts and Goblins or whatever the hell that game is, Capcom game. Um, he was trying to beat that game and he was just having trouble beating it. And then like I think I played it a couple times. I was like, this is stupid. And I was like, I'm done, man. I hated this game when I was a kid. It's too hard. And then I'm, I hate this game now. So, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. I think I played a couple of the other games too, like just a little bit. But it's just like, they're so basic. Like NES games are not my thing, man. I'll be honest, NES games are not my thing. I like Super Nintendo a lot more. Um, so, so yeah. Like once they, once they start adding Super Nintendo games, maybe I'll be a little bit more inclined. But I mean, I've got this thing, and I never play it. So it's literally just sitting here on my desk. So. I'm looking forward to some of the newer stuff and maybe the games that I missed out on, like Dragon's Dogma and stuff like that. <clears throat> Smash 90. Yeah, I might stream Smash. If I can get, if I can go run all my errands, come back and get everything edited before my second stream is done, yeah, I might stream Smash tonight. Because then I can just stream Smash for a bit and then I can go to sleep early so I can wake up and get Dragon's Dogma and get everything and just stream all day. For Dragon's Dogma and maybe Mortal Kombat 11, so... Uh, I can't wait to sink 500 hours into Hollow Realize on the Switch. Hollow Realize, what is that? Uh, what is your fond memories of Super Nintendo era games? Just basically the magic that the games had. It was really more of the atmosphere and the community, more so than anything, in terms of like how you heard about games, like what games, like every game 
it felt like it was like a new adventure. Like when you played a new RPG on the Super Nintendo or when you played something like that, the RPGs and everything just felt like you didn't know anything. You were just going into it blind and it was a completely different experience. Whereas now, you know, I work in media. Obviously, we see a bunch of stuff. You got to cover games so people can know what to spend their money on. But, you know, back then, it just felt like the games were more magical because you just never saw it. Like you barely saw anything, you know, um, on the game. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of like what it was to me, man. Like, I remember the first time playing, like not even knowing that, like, you know, Super Mario World 2 was like a baby Yoshi and being pissed. I'm like... I'm like, what the heck? Like, I remember buying the game and I saw it on there and I thought, I thought, you know what I thought was going to happen? I thought Mario was going to, I thought Yoshi was going to deliver Mario like at the beginning of the game and then it's going to like skip to like a, to, like a, like a cut scene and then Mario was going to be on top of Yoshi and like playing like normal Mario world. I didn't know it was a whole, I didn't know it was a baby the whole time. Like, I didn't know that even though they, they clearly told us that beforehand in magazines, I, I didn't know. So I was kind of upset, but then as I started playing the game, I was like, yo, this is actually really dope. I love this game. And I actually ended up liking Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I, like, I actually like that more than Super Mario World. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was just crazy. Um, for me, it was just crazy. Because I, I beat... Well, I don't know if I like it. Never mind. I don't know if I like it more than Super Mario World. But I like them both equal. I, uh, they're pretty much both up there. Very high up, man. They're both very high up. I love that game um, on the Super Nintendo. So I think it was more of like that. Um, oof. Packed, you got your, oh yeah, because it was for your birthday and stuff like that. So yeah, shout outs, man. Glad to be back. Nothing like home, right, man? J2 Boost says, I would throw my Switch. Um, I would throw my Switch, but $300 is too much to pay. LOL. I got to pay. I got bills. Okay, you're talking about the whole Cuphead thing when I said, like, throw your Switch. <laughs> yeah, man. Samuel says, I barely play them, but I think it's an awesome service. River City, a Ransom, Zelda, and Mario's are probably the only ones I truly care about. Although I jump into the Famicom Wars. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Like, I remember people, obviously, they don't like the Nintendo Online service. Like, some of the, like, the NES games and stuff. But I think it's cool that they're there for you to play. So, if you want to play them, that's cool. You know? Uh, did you ever play Super Ghouls and Ghosts? I did. I don't like that one either. Um... So, yeah. Let's see here. Any other questions that I miss? Hmm. I don't think I... I think I got everything, right? Let's keep it going, though, guys. We do got about less than 20 minutes left of questions. I know we had a long Q&A session today. Long Q&A. So if you have any other topics or stuff that you guys want to talk about, feel free. St. Lando 1. What's up, St. Lando? How you doing today, my boy? Is a move Microsoft could do to sell more games on the Switch remaster, Lost Odyssey and Blue Dragon. Yeah, I think that's easier said than done. The way that those games are constructed, those games are actually fairly large in file size. Um, but at the same time, I think it could be done, but the, it would take, it wouldn't be an easy, it wouldn't be like an easy port. Like it wouldn't be just something like, oh, let's just get 10 people together and let's port over Lost Odyssey and Blue Dragon. It would actually take a considerable amount of work. Those games are huge. Those games have, are huge. There's a lot of content in those games. And it, it would take some work. So, yeah, that'd be dope. And everybody would like that. But at the same time, I just don't see them doing that. Because the size of those games, how much work it would take. Those games are 360. And those games have never been put on anything else, right? Like, I don't think there's been there's been nothing else, really. I mean, there's the Xbox backwards compatibility through software emulation. And that's it. So, so yeah, man. Yeah, true. Well, I mean, what they could do. I mean, they can make it a single disc. Like... Like I know, like on the Xbox One, when you put the first disc into your platform, like onto the, into the Xbox, like it downloads the whole game. So yeah, the Lost Odyssey is a four disc game, Blue Dragon's a three disc game. So it, not that it, they can't do it, but it would just take a lot of work. It would just take a lot of work. That's all, because I haven't looked it up yet. What specific time about Atlas Direct on the twenty fifth? Yeah, it's going to be. Um, we're going to get news on Persona Five S, and Persona Four or Persona Five The Royale. So the twenty fifth, sometime in the morning, there'll be news on it. So there you go um so just sometime in the morning there's not there's not any direct time but the concert's actually going down at six uh at 6 a.m your time 3 a.m my time i'm sorry on um, three uh no no guys just just there's look listen you guys aren't gonna watch the p live concert so the times are yeah they're in the morning so just look out for news look out for news on wednesday and thursday Wednesday and Thursday of this week in the morning. Whenever you wake up, there'll be some news. There's no need to stay up or wake up at 6 a.m. for that. Just just wait. You'll get news. Just wake up normally. You'll get your news. You don't need to wake up or try to watch the stream. There's there's no need to do it. There's no need to do that, do all that. So just in the morning, there'll be news. There'll be morning in the news on Wednesday and on Thursday. So just, yeah, let's just do that. 
Um, <clears throat> we're getting the update on sales on the 25th. So Thursday or Friday, we'll get the update on sales. Fozzy Moto. Marco says, outside of Super Mario Bros. 3 and Mega Man 2, I never really liked the NES that much. Uh, the NES was uh, was better. Uh, Super NES was better in every uh, every way possible. Most Super Nintendo games age like fine wine. Yeah, I think a lot of Super Nintendo games really played, still play well today. Um, and yeah, I I agree. The Super Nintendo is leagues better than the regular Nintendo. But I think that's what's supposed to happen, right? Um, the Murdoch Coco. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just don't want you thinking like to wake up early or anything like that to see that there's going to be news. So I just want to make sure that you know that yeah, the concerts are going to be at this time, but we're just going to get news in the morning. So I don't want it to make it seem because like some people are saying, oh well, should I stay up? And I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to make sure it's easy as possible for you guys. So just wake up in the morning and there should be some news on the on Thursday and on Wednesday and Thursday. If you're looking for Switch news particularly, then Thursday, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't know. We gotta wait and see. You gotta wait and see what Persona 5S actually is. So yeah. Yo, OJ, how far are you in Katana Zero? I don't know how far I am in Katana Zero, to be honest. I don't I don't know how long the game is or anything like that. I've done a few of the levels, so I think I'm like I have no idea how far I'm I'm into it. <clears throat> TCRX says you gave me a fresh perspective I've been avoiding a cartridge plus download games like LA Noir, Wolf 2, etc. I bought digital but does buying the cartridge send a message to publishers? I I think so. I think so. And you do save some space too as well. So so you do save cuz there is some on the cartridge, so I think it sends a little bit of a message um in terms of people want physical games. Um, right now they're just hampered by the, the prices and stuff so it's it's a little bit of a rough spot but at the same time hey it is what it is uh what is ai what type of game is it it's gonna be like zero dilemma games like that so like weird games you just go watch <laughs> go watch like zero dilemma or go watch like nine doors nine whatever nine whatever you know nine people nine whatever go watch something like it's gonna be that style of weirdo game you know So yeah, Lost Odyssey is an Xbox 360 exclusive. Maybe you think the the, the last remnant Thanos. Yeah, did somebody say that Lost Odyssey isn't only an? It's only on Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Those are the only two systems that you can play Lost Odyssey on normally. I don't think it's on Steam or anything like that, or Microsoft Windows Store or anything like that. So yeah. Just finished the main quest for Starlink Battle for Atlas. Atlas, cool. Shout out to Pete's Wolf. Good stuff. Did you like it? Um, what's good, everyone? I'm only catching the end of the live stream. Yeah, we've got about maybe 13 more minutes left or so. So if you have a question or if you have a topic that you want me to go over, feel free. Or if you have a question about what we went over, feel free to do so. Feel free to do so. I think there's, a, there's actually a number of games that are coming out this week, too. We talked about Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, Dragon's Dogma, those are tomorrow. Uh, Box Boy plus Girl, isn't that out today or something like that? Or it's out pretty soon here. Steam World Quest is out this week as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of games coming out, man. Um, and next week is Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. So, pretty dope. Pretty dope next Tuesday is that. So, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm trying to look to see if there's anything else that I missed for today in terms of news. I don't think so. It's been kind of kind of slow today. Things are going to pick back up though later later this week, Wednesday and Thursday. Steam World Quest should be good. Absolutely love Steam World Heist. Yeah, they're different types of games, but absolutely. I mean, if you like the Steam World style of games, then you should like, you know, you should like this one. Down for Zodiac Age. Love that game. Yeah, Zodiac Age is really good. It's really good. It's super good. Super good. I'm looking forward to it. I have it on PS4 and I stopped. I played it for a little bit and then I stopped. I was like, oh, it's probably going to come to Switch. 
Well, actually, a little birdie told me that it's coming to Switch. <laughs> a little birdie told me that it's coming to Switch. So I was like, eh. But I, I bought the I bought the PS4 version for twelve dollars, so it's not like I uh, you know it's not like I had like oh my gosh like I spent so much on it or I bought it like brand new you know first or anything like that. I was just like you know whatever. So it was good. It was good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Pizza Wolf says Starlink is an eight out of ten in my opinion. I was expecting a six out of ten, but pleasantly surprised. The story was kind of cheesy though. Yeah, I'd probably give it like a seven, seven or eight out of ten. Michael Burns says, I'm done guessing on Persona 5. If it comes, it comes. Atlas are kind of annoying. Well, we'll find out this week. We'll find out this week, man. I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. We'll find out this week. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what people got to say. I think it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun to see what happens, you know? So, so there you go. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country looks good even, even today. It, eh. Depends on the size of TV that you're playing it on and everything. I don't know, man. I think I I, I think it definitely isn't horrible. There's there's worse, right? Um, but yeah, yeah. Donkey Kong Country was crazy back in the day, dude. I remember getting a um, getting like a Nintendo Power videotape on the making of Donkey Kong Country, dude. <laughs> uh, on the making of Donkey Kong Country, and uh, it was man, it was it was it was crazy. It like showed like the graphics, like the three D rendering and what they were doing. Like I, I watched, and this was before Donkey Kong Country came out, you know. And I watched this so many times, you know, because we used to have Nintendo Power. So like, I guess like some Nintendo Power people got this video cassette, and I used to watch it all the time, dude. Like the making of Donkey Kong Country, and then I remember after we moved a couple of years later, I remember finally getting Donkey Kong Country when it was a good price. I think I got it for like Christmas or something like that. I got it for, I got it for something, but it wasn't when it launched. Um, and I remember playing, dude, I remember playing Donkey Kong Country so many times, 100% in Donkey Kong Country a million times, man. I played it through all those levels. I loved it. It was one of my favorite Nintendo franchises. Easy. Like it was just, it was so good, man. Back in the day. I thought it was, I thought it was so great. <laughs> it is great. It is great. Donkey Kong Country, the original. And also Diddy Kong's Quest. Diddy Kong's Quest I thought was so cool too when I got Diddy Kong's Quest. So, um, so yeah, the uh, Sam Yargo, you've been in this stream the whole time, and I've said multiple times that Nintendo, the 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 fiscal year sales earnings, like the the sales data is coming, um, like on the twenty fifth, the twenty fourth or the twenty fifth. So I've stated that multiple times on this stream. Um, let's see here. Um, have been playing Hellblade majority today and enjoying it a lot. Perfect with headphones. Yeah, yeah, definitely good with headphones. Definitely good with headphones. Definitely good with headphones. By the way, thirty six point five million switches have been sold. That's my guess. Okay, that's a that's a good guess. So that means they sold a little under four million switches. About four million switches. You're guessing that they sold from January to to March. Which that's 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 doable. That's doable. That's doable. Definitely. I was. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. Yeah, yeah. You just missed it. Yeah. It's coming. The news on the switch sales numbers. It's coming. It's coming uh, this week. It's coming this week, my boy. Uh, Aquatic. David Wise is a genius. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really interested in the sales numbers for Nintendo platforms from last year. Hey, Murdoch Loco, are you are you planning on getting like Mortal Kombat or anything like that, or like Dragon's Dogma? I just want to know. Um, or you just still you're still on that Final Fantasy grind? It's Makoto Ninja. Okay, hold on. You're talking about something else. Um, Switch is for sure gonna pass N64 in sales this year. Uh, yeah, it's already, yeah, it's already, the N64 is what, 33 million? For the N64? Yeah, it's already, it's already passed that out. <laughs> it's already, it's already passed up the N64, easily. Because the thing about it is that Nintendo always waits a month before they actually give us the sales numbers. They don't give us the numbers on that month. Like, let's say on that actual month that it comes out. Because remember, the sales numbers are not through April. The sales numbers are through, are, through march so there's still like a month of sales that are still going on by the time that we hear the news and the n64 is like at what 33 million and we heard the news that the switch was at 32.7 million so it literally needed like a couple hundred thousand of systems to outsell the n64 you know it didn't even really need that much and we know that this we know that just in japan alone there's been since january you know there's definitely been you know 
at least a million switches sold or something like that plus so we already know it's above the n64 um it's already above it um saw Vasco says i remember my bro and i got the nes um super nintendo um, during 1995 tax season with Super Mario All-Stars and Donkey Kong Country. LOL, best times. Yeah, man, those were good times. I remember I got it, I think it was like 91 or 92, I got the Super Nintendo, one of those two. And I remember, oh my gosh, I just remember when I just, I woke up in the morning. It wasn't for Christmas or anything. I just remember waking up in the morning, going to school, coming back, the weekend starting, waking up, and then there was a freaking Super Nintendo in the room. And my brother was playing Super Mario World. And I was just like, <sighs> my mind literally exploded. I was like, how? When? They're like, and my brother was just like, dad got us a Super Nintendo. <laughs> and I was like, ah! <laughs> it was just there. I just remember it being there. I was really young though. So I don't, maybe some of the details are escaping me. Maybe there was a time where we I did see it, or maybe there was something. But I just remember, I just remember it being there in the morning. I just being blown away that my brother was playing Super Mario World and just patiently waiting for my turn. Like I didn't like I, I like to watch my brother play a lot of games. Like I, we weren't one of those that were like we would fight over you know who was gonna play. Like I I just sit down and I watch my brother play games. He was always better than me, so I just sit down and watch him play. And then when he's done playing, I'll play. Like when he's not playing, I'll just play the game. I was always like, oh, I'll just play it next, you know. And I had no problem with that. That was fine. He was older than me, so it was fine. And I'd always look for tips, too. He would be playing something. Like, okay, that's how you do that. Okay, that's how you do that. Because, you know, games were harder back then. You know you know that, right? So I always waited and, like, saw my brother do stuff. I'm like, okay, maybe I can do it. And I'd still get bopped at times. But it was great, though, man. It was really good. The only time that we had issues with gaming was, like, when he beat me in games and I cry. I get upset and I cry. I used to be a crybaby. He'd beat me in, like, Street Fighter. I'd be like, ah, I can't win. Blah! And I was like, Mommy, I can't beat him. But he, like, taught me and stuff, too, though. Um, there was also time, like, NBA Live. I remember, like, NBA Live 96. I remember one time, um, oh, my God, I threw the biggest hissy fit because I couldn't beat this dude in NBA Live because I was training, and I was training, and I used to play all the time, and he would never play the game. And then I remember, <clears throat> I was like, oh, I was like, okay, let's play NBA Live. Let's go, you know? And, he, and I'm like, I'm going to do the Bulls. And, like, I put in the, you put M. Jordan in or Player 99, and it goes, doo, 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 and Michael Jordan gets created because Jordan wasn't on the license for the game. But you can create him, and it was, like, a bald black guy. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's Jordan. And he was, like, a 99 in dunk. Uh, but anyway, and my brother would pick, like, the Spurs, or my brother would pick some other team, and he beat me. And I remember the trolliest thing that my brother did. I forgot what the score was, but, like, I was going to lose the game. And, like, I paused and started crying. And my mom came in and was like, what's going on? And I'm like, he's beating me. And then my brother was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. My brother trolled the hell out of me. Just, like, kind of like the, the how about no. This is what my brother did. My brother did, okay, hold on. So he's like, he's like, okay, Francis, here, you score a couple times. So then I scored. And then he scored a couple times. And I'm like, okay, what now? And he's like, look. He's like, the score is, like, 126 to like 146 he's like look the numbers are reversed and it was him having 146 and me having like 126 or something like that or 124 whatever it was he did something with the numbers to make it look like oh, okay like look the numbers are reversed right or something like that 26 or 64 or whatever it was i don't remember exactly but he did something with the numbers and trolled the hell out of me and that's when i lost i, I blew a gasket dude i freaking lost it man <laughs> i freaking lost it and just started going ah! So, yeah, that was the only issue that me and my brother had, like, growing up playing games. Like, when he beat me and stuff. Um, let's see here. So, uh, I cry. Yeah, pretty much. When I was a kid, I'd be... A, I was the youngest, so I'd cry a lot of times about stuff. Um, Sal Vasquez says, bro, um, I remember activating the infinite life in Contra 3 and passing that with my bro. Uh, that way, oh, we would fight when we'd uh, play Killer Instinct. Yeah, me and my brother, we played each other... We played against each other in Killer Instinct, but, like... I don't remember as many issues with Killer Instinct because I think sometimes I'd beat my brother with in Killer Instinct because like I used Cinder and Cinder was super cheap in that game, right? So I'd use Cinder and he'd use Jago and like Jago is not as good as Cinder. So I, I sometimes I would win, but he would beat me most of the time though. Yeah, big wow, wow, a big cry baby. Um. So yeah, does your bro does your bro still troll you? Uh, subtle ways, yeah, but not really, not as much anymore, not as much, because, like, we're both old now, so, no, he doesn't really troll me like that anymore, but, yeah, he'll make jokes, he'll do, he'll do certain things, but he's cool. What the hell is going on with this 
page right here. Acting all weird. Uh, let's see. A lot of things make more sense now that you're the baby of your family. <laughs> yeah, baby. So. Youngest of four. Um. All right. Where are we at? Okay. So that basically wraps it up here, guys. That's two hours. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Today was freaking great, man. We had some subscribers. We had some uh, people here. Got some Toby Blasters. So thank you guys for the support today. I do appreciate that. I really do appreciate the support. I really do. Um, we are going to link some videos for you guys. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, Dank Beam already has it there. Follow me on Twitter. Dank Beam put the link. Uh, one of the mods. Uh, also, make sure you check out my video today. Uh, Nintendo did the near impossible with the Switch. Uh, so let's, I'll link it right here. So make sure you guys check out that video. How do you get that blue arrow like that? That blue arrow looks cool, Dank Beam. Is it in the regular? Is it in the regular emotes? Let me see. Arrow. Yeah, it is. Okay, here we go. Yeah, make sure you make sure you guys check out my video on um, on Nintendo did the near impossible. So make sure you guys check that out. That video is already up on the channel. And also, if you've already seen that video. Some of you guys, because of Easter Sunday, or just because you guys missed it, or just because it's Sunday, and you guys are probably busy, you know, with family or whatever the case is, um, I have a video on Nintendo's most dominant summer of all time as well. So, so make sure you guys check out the videos. So if you have not seen those videos, make sure you guys check them out. Copy link address. There you go. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back later tonight, probably like around maybe uh, maybe five or six or so. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit before that um, to talk more about some stuff. We'll have another live stream and talk more about stuff in the nightcap for those who come back from work and all that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys back later tonight. Peace.